Stock Prediction with Recurrent Neural Network Deep learning is involved a lot in the modern quantitative financial field. There are many different neural networks can be applied to stock price prediction problems. The recurrent neural network, to be specific, the long short-term memory, LSTM, network outperforms others' architecture since it can take advantage of predicting time series, or sequentially, involved results with a specific configuration. We will make a really simple LSTM with Keras to predict the stock price in the Chinese stock. This code imports the necessary libraries and modules for building and training a LSTM, long short-term memory, model using Keras. The time module is imported to keep track of the execution time of certain parts of the code. The math module is imported for mathematical operations, although it is not used in this specific code. The sequential, dense, dropout, and activation classes are imported from the keras.layers.core module. These are essential building blocks for constructing the LSTM model. The LSTM class is imported from the keras.layers.recurrent module, which represents the core LSTM layer. The numpy module is imported as NP4 handling array and numerical operations. The pandas module is imported as PD for data manipulation and analysis. The sklearn.preprocessing module is imported as prep for data preprocessing tasks. Overall, this code sets up the environment and imports the necessary tools for creating an LSTM model. Import data. I have introduced how we get this dataset both in readme.md and in another notebook. CSV file named 000002 from 1995-01-01.csv into a data frame using the pandas library. It then displays the first few rows of the data frame using the head function. Preprocess data. We can see from the table above that the scales of our features vary a lot. It will be beneficial to normalize your training data before you feed data into your model. Having different features with widely different scales fed to your model will cause the network to weight the features not equally. This can cause a falsely prioritization of some features over the others in the representation. Read for more detailed explanation. Finds a function called standard underscore scalar that takes in two parameters, x underscore train and x underscore test. It first determines the shape of the input arrays x underscore train and x underscore test using the shape attribute. This gives the number of samples, the number of rows, and the number of columns in each array. These values are stored in variables, train underscore samples, train underscore nx, train underscore new york for x underscore train, and test underscore samples, test underscore nx, test underscore new york for x underscore test. Next, it reshapes the input arrays x underscore train and x underscore test using the reshape method so that the samples are in rows and the features are in columns. The new shape for each array is determined by multiplying the number of samples by the product of the number of rows and the number of columns. Then, a preprocessor object of the standard scalar class from the prep module is created. It is fitted to the x underscore train array using the fit method, which calculates the mean and standard deviation of each feature in x underscore train. The x underscore train and x underscore test arrays are transformed using the transform method of the preprocessor object. This scales the data by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation, based on the statistics calculated from x underscore train. Finally, the transformed x underscore train and x underscore test arrays are reshaped back to their original shapes and returned as output from the function. In summary, this code performs feature scaling using the standard scalar technique on the input arrays x underscore train and x underscore test and returns the scaled arrays. Split the data to x underscore train, y underscore train, x underscore test, y underscore test. This code is a function called preprocess underscore data that takes in two parameters, stock and seek underscore len. It performs several preprocessing steps on the input stock data. First, it determines the number of features in the stock data by getting the length of the columns in the stock parameter. Next, it converts the stock data into a numpy array and assigns it to the variable data. Then, it initializes the variable sequence underscore length to be seek underscore len plus 1. The code then creates an empty list called result and goes through a loop that iterates from 0 to the length of the data minus the sequence underscore length. In each iteration, it appends a subarray of data starting from the current index to the index plus the sequence underscore length to the result list. This creates a list of sequences with a length of seek underscore len plus 1, where the last value in each sequence is the target value. Afterwards, the result list is converted into a numpy array and assigned back to the variable result. 
Next, it calculates the number of rows to be included in the training data by multiplying 0.9 with the number of rows in result and rounding it. This is assigned to the variable row. The code then calls a function called standard underscore scalar passing the train and result arrays as parameters. The standard underscore scalar function must be defined elsewhere in the code and is responsible for performing some type of scaling or normalization on the input data. The resulting scaled training and result arrays are assigned back to the variables train and result respectively. Next, the code assigns the values for x underscore train, y underscore train, x underscore test, and y underscore test based on the train and result arrays. x underscore train is assigned to all rows of train except the last column. y underscore train is assigned to the last column of train. x underscore test is assigned to all rows of result from the row index row onwards, except the last column. y underscore test is assigned to the last column of result from the row index row onwards. The code then reshapes x underscore train and x underscore test to have dimensions of x underscore train dot shape 0, x underscore train dot shape 1, amount underscore of underscore features, and x underscore test dot shape 0, x underscore test dot shape 1, amount underscore of underscore features, respectively. This is necessary if the data is going to be used as input for a neural network model. Finally, the function returns a list containing x underscore train, y underscore train, x underscore test, and y underscore test. These are the pre-processed training and test data that can be used for further analysis or modeling. STM network. Here we will build a simple RNN with two LSTM layers. The architecture is LSTM, dropout, LSTM, dropout, fully connect, dense. Code defines a function called build underscore model that takes in a list of layer sizes as input. First, it creates a sequential model, which is a linear stack of layers. Then, it adds an LSTM layer to the model. The first LSTM layer has an input dimension equal to the first element of the layers list and an output dimension equal to the second element of the layers list. The return underscore sequences parameter is set to true, indicating that we want to stack another LSTM layer on top of this one. Next, a dropout layer with a dropout rate of 0.4 is added to the model. Dropout is a technique used to prevent overfitting by randomly setting a fraction of input units to zero during training. Another LSTM layer is added to the model, with a number of units equal to the third element of the layers list. The return underscore sequences parameter is set to false, indicating that we do not want to stack any more LSTM layers on top of this one. Another dropout layer, with a dropout rate of 0.3, is added to the model. A dense layer is added to the model, with an output dimension equal to the fourth element of the layers list. An activation function of linear is added to the dense layer. After defining the layers, the model is compiled. The loss function is set to msc mean squared error, the optimizer is set to forms prop, and the metric used for evaluation is accuracy. Finally, the compilation time is printed, and the model is returned. the value of the variable window to 20. Then it calls the preprocess underscore data function with a parameter df colon minus 1 and the value of window. The function returns four variables x underscore train, y underscore train, x underscore test, and y underscore test. The code then prints the shapes of these variables using the shape function. It's a model using a function called build underscore model. The model takes input with a shape of x underscore train dot shape 2 window 100 1. The x underscore train dot shape 2 specifies the number of features in the input. The window specifies the sequence length. The model has 100 units in one of its layers and produces an output with a shape of 1. You can play with the hyperparameters here. The training process can take a significant time if you are using an average GPU or CPU, worse. Code trains a machine learning model with the given training data and labels. The fit function is called on the model, with the following arguments, x underscore train, the features of the training data, y underscore train, the labels of the training data, batch underscore size, the number of samples that will be propagated through the model at once during training, epochs, the number of times the training data will be iterated over during training, validation underscore split, the fraction of the training data to be used for validation, verbose, the level of verbosity, zero means silent, one means progress.
Bar, overall, this code trains the model on the given data and labels, with five iterations over the data, using a batch size of 768, and a validation set of 10% of the training data. It will not display any progress information during training. This code calculates and outputs the mean squared error, MSE, and root mean squared error, RMSE, for both the training and testing data sets. The first line evaluates the model using the training data, X underscore train and Y underscore train, and stores the result in the variable train score. The second line outputs the train score by formatting it into a string that includes the MSE and RMSE. The train score, 0, refers to the first element of the train score array, which is the MSE. The math.sqrt, train score, 0, calculates the RMSE by taking the square root of the MSE. The third and fourth lines perform the same evaluation and output for the testing data, x underscore test and y underscore test, storing the results in the variable test score. The test score is then used to print the test MSE and RMSE in a similar format as the train score. The prediction. Code is calculating the difference and ratio between the predicted values, pred, and the actual values, y underscore test. Initially, two empty lists, diff and ratio, are created. Then, the model predicts the output values using the given test input, x underscore test. Next, in a loop that iterates over the length of y underscore test, the code performs the following steps, assigns the predicted value for the current iteration, pred, u, 0, to the variable, pr. Calculates the ratio by dividing the actual value, y underscore test, u, by pr, and then subtracting 1. This is done to determine the relative difference between the predicted and actual values. Appends the calculated ratio to the ratio list. Calculates the absolute difference between the actual value and PR and appends it to the diff list. This code is incomplete and has a to-do comment indicating that it needs to be modified. Without further information about the code, it is not possible to determine its exact purpose or what needs to be scaled back. It's a line plot using the matplotlib library. It plots two datasets, pred and y underscore test, on the same plot. The pred dataset is plotted in red and labeled as prediction, while the y underscore test dataset is plotted in blue and labeled as ground truth. Finally, the plot is displayed with a legend indicating the labels and their corresponding colors.